John 3 16 so we're going to say it through <coughs> together and at the end say John 3 16 and then we'll do it again a second time all right all right so everybody stand up straight and let's say it all together one two three for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. Very good. Let's do it one more time, all right? One, two, three. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. Very good. All right, everybody stand up straight and put your right hand over your heart and get ready to say all the pledges here, okay? Let's we'll start off with the Pledge of Allegiance to the Bible, all right? So let's all try to say it together, okay? All right. Y'all ready up there? I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. Its words will I hide in my heart, that I might not sin against God. Amen. 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 All right, let's get ready to say the pledge of the Christian flag. And this one will be a little slower. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. I now the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very good. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. All right. All right, let's get ready for our, our song now. Get ready for the song. Now listen, listen. Y'all done pretty good all week long, singing out nice and loud for Supercell to come out. But tonight being the last night, y'all got to be, I mean, absolutely singing out loud. Not screaming, but singing the song out loud for Supercell to show back up for the last time this week. How many of y'all ready to see Supercell to come out? Yeah! Yeah! Y'all yeah. ready for Super Seven? Yeah. The adults in the back, are y'all ready for Super Seven? Yeah.
All right. All right, let's go ahead and get ready for two more songs here tonight. Two more songs. All right, so everybody stand back up. Stand back up. Stand back up. Girls, stand up. Stand up. All right. All right, let's sing This Little Light of Mine, all right? How many of y'all know that song, This Little Light of Mine? All right, all right, let's sing that tonight, all right? All right, how many, boys, y'all ready to sing? Yeah! Girls? Yeah! Boys? Yeah! Girls? Yeah! One, two, three. This Little Light of
say amen? Amen. Very good. Very good. All right. So all this week, all this week, we've been talking about all the different miracles of Jesus. And uh, every night we've had a different miracle. And uh, let's see. Just curious. Who can tell me what the first miracle that we talked about? Monday night, the miracle, first miracle we talked about. Uh, Monday night, Monday night. Lewis. He made water into wine. All right, turned water into wine. All right, Tuesday night. What was the miracle Tuesday night? Very good. There was a man that was paralyzed. He couldn't walk. And his four friends took him to Jesus. They had to tear the roof off to get him down in there. And Jesus healed the man that was paralyzed. All right? Wednesday night. What was the miracle Wednesday night? No, Jonathan, you can't answer. Say, how you talk. No. Um, nope, that wasn't it. <laughs> Very good. Jesus calmed the storm. He sees you. Give me the whole lesson. That's pretty good. All right. And what was the miracle we talked about last night? Very good. We got a lot of food. Give me. He fed the 5,000 with Amen. some bread and some fish. Just a little bit of bread and a little bit of fish. He fed the 5,000. There's so many different miracles in the Bible that we could talk about that Jesus did. And it was hard to choose which ones to talk about all this week. And I thought that those four were very good. But I want you all to pay attention to me tonight, okay? Everybody look up here. All the boys look up here. All the girls look up here. Tonight, we're going to talk about the greatest miracle of all time. The greatest miracle of all time. Better than turning the water into wine. Better than uh, healing the, the paralytic man. Better than calming the stormy seas. Better than the feeding of the 5,000. You can put all those together and none of them can come even close to the greatest miracle of all time. Anybody want to take a guess tonight what the greatest miracle of all time is? There's no time to get <laughs> That's a good miracle. <laughs> When sometimes you can get candy. That's a good one. I like that miracle, especially if it's Skittles. Lewis. Uh, they Very good. Well, tonight we're going to talk about the greatest miracle of all time. And we're going to talk about what Jesus did for us on the cross. Okay? So tonight we're going to read a very familiar verse. It should be familiar to you after all this week. We're going to read John 3.16. Okay? John 3.16. Okay. And the Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Okay? That's the miracle we're going to talk about tonight. So I want everybody quiet. Every head bowed, every eye closed. We're going to pray before we get into the lesson here. So everybody bow your heads. Dear Lord, we thank You for this day. Thank You for the good time we've had so far. Thank You for uh, all the fun, all the singing, God. But now, Lord, it's time for Your Word. Help me, Lord, to be a blessing to these kids. God, if there's anybody here tonight who don't know You as Savior, may they hear the Gospel and, and trust in it tonight to be saved. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. All right, so here's the story. I want to give, give you the story here to you in a nutshell. Okay? The life of Jesus Christ. The first thing I want everybody to understand and everybody to learn tonight is that Jesus is God. Amen. Jesus is God. Amen. Jesus, when He came, He's God. But the Bible says God in the flesh. God came down and took on the form of a man in Jesus. And He walked this earth. Who, who here tonight can tell me how, how long Jesus was on earth here? How long He lived here on earth? Anybody know? I think it was 43 days and 43 nights. No, He lived a lot longer than 43 days. <laughs> A thousand years? No. Thirty-six years old. No, close. No. He was born twelve years old. He 
he, he walked this earth for 33 and a half years. 33 and a half years. And guess what? In that 30, there's 33 and a half years. Listen to me. Listen to me. In 33 and a half years, do you know that Jesus never sinned? Now, you know what sin is? Sin is everything that we've ever done that is bad. How many of y'all here you've sinned before? Everybody would have raised their hand because we've all sinned. Amen. And if you're not raising your hand, Dad, you're sinning right now because you're telling a lie. Amen. All right, so everybody is sinning. How, how many of y'all here in tonight? Here tonight, y'all told a lie before. At least one time, you told a lie. Everybody, put your feet down. All right, so we've all sinned. The Bible tells us. Listen to me. The Bible says, "For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God." You know what that means? Because of our sin, because of all the bad things that we've ever done, even if it was just one thing. Because of that, we can't go to heaven and be with God because of all the sin that we've done. So God said, you know what? I've got to make things right. I've got to give them a way of escape. And so He sends Jesus and Jesus comes and He walks this earth for 33 and a half years and He does all these miracles that we've been talking about and there come a time right there at the end of His life where He was going to pay the price for our sin. Can anybody tell me where we go because of our sin. Where we deserve to go because of our sin. Because, no, no. Because of all the bad that we've done, where do we deserve to go? We deserve to go to hell. Who can tell me what happens to us in hell? We burn. For how long? For how long? Forever. We'll burn forever. Nobody in their right mind wants to go to hell and burn forever. But that's exactly where we're headed if we don't get forgiveness of our sin. Everybody understand tonight? Amen. If you understand, let me hear you say amen. amen. Okay. Alright, so Jesus come and walk this earth. Sit up. Sit up. Jesus come and walk this earth for 33 and a half years. He never sinned. And He was, he was arrested even though He did nothing wrong. Do you realize tonight because Jesus, He is God, He could have put a stop to everything. But He went ahead and went to the cross anyway. You know why Jesus died on the cross for us? He died on the cross because He loves us. Remember our memory verse? It starts off, how does it start off? For God so loved the world. What does that mean? God loves each and every one of you so much that He was willing to come and die for us. And so Jesus went to the cross and He took all your sin and all of my sin upon Him. He had never sinned before. He had never done anything wrong. But because He loves you and He loves me so much that He said, you know what? I'll pay the price for all the bad stuff that they've ever done. And so He was nailed to the cross and He shed His blood. The blood poured out of His body. And the Bible tells us without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. What that means is without that blood, our sins cannot be washed away. That's right. So Jesus said, you know what? I love these kids at Bible school so much. See, Jesus could see into the future. And He knew that you would be here tonight. And He said, you know what? I love every one of those kids. And so I'm going to take all the things that they've ever done wrong on me. And I'm going to die for it. Now here's the great story. Here's the greatest part of the story. Jesus, when He died, it didn't end there. See, that's not real amazing. People, people die every day, right? Yeah. I mean, every day we hear of people dying and, and we hear... How many of y'all have ever gone to a funeral before? And they, they take the person that died and they take their body and they put it in the ground. And for a lot of people, we think, well, that's it. But see, here's the great thing about that. Jesus is God. Yeah. And God can do whatever He wants to, right? So Jesus took all your sins and all my sins, all the bad that we've ever done, and He died for us and shed His blood so that our sins could be washed away. That, for, that was how we get forgiveness. They took His body off the cross and they placed His body in a borrowed tomb. It wasn't even His grave. Somebody said, well, I'll let Jesus use it. So they took His body and they wrapped His body up in the grave clothes and they laid His body in the grave. And they rolled a great giant stone in front of the hole so that nobody could go in and so nobody could come out. Everybody understand tonight? Yeah. 
Three days later, just like He said He would, three days later, Jesus arose from the dead. He arose from the dead. The angel of the Lord rolled the stone out of the way and Jesus come walking out of the grave just fine. Amen. And He walked around on this earth for 40 days. And then the Bible teaches us then He ascended up. He went up into heaven. And you know what the Bible says that He's doing? He's up in heaven and He's preparing a mansion for you and for me. All of those that trust in what He's done. Amen. Now I want you to understand this, boys. Being a good person, that's a good thing. But being a good person will not get you into heaven. A lot of people think, well, if I just do good and I listen to my teachers and I listen to my parents, which you should, but a lot of people think that's enough to get them into heaven, and it's not. Girls, listen to me. Some people think, well, I went to Bible school when I was a kid, so that's good enough. I went to church sometimes, that's good enough. Those are good things. You should go to Bible school. And you should go to church. But that's not good enough to get you into heaven. Nothing that we can do. I want you to listen to me. There's nothing that you can do, boys, girls. There's nothing that you can do to earn your way to heaven. It's not about what we can do. Jesus already did it all. All we've got to do is trust in what Jesus did. Believe that He died for our sins and shed His blood for us. And that He was buried and He rose again three days later. And if we trust in what Jesus did for us, if we trust in that, we'll be saved. But what does that mean to be saved? That means there's a great big book up in heaven called the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. And when you pray and you tell Jesus that you believe He died for you and that He shed His blood for you and that He rose again from the dead and you're trusting in that to be saved, the moment you do that, your name is written down in that book in heaven. And one day, when your life's over on this earth, you'll stand before the Lord and they'll look in that book and find your name. And you'll get to go into heaven. But if your name's not in that book, guess where you're going to go? Hell. You're going to go down to the devil. You're going to go to hell. And you'll burn forever and ever and ever. Nobody wants to go there. I don't want you to go there. None of the adults here want anybody to go there. That's the, one, that's the main reason why we did this vacation Bible school. It's so that you can learn about Jesus and learn about the greatest miracle that's ever been. And so that you can trust in it to be saved so you can go to heaven. How many of y'all, by showing your hands, by raising your hands, don't scream it out, just raise your hands. How many of y'all believe that Jesus died for your sins? Alright, put your hands down. How many of y'all believe that He was buried and He rose again three days later? Raise your hands. How many of y'all believe that Jesus is God? Raise your hands. How many of y'all believe tonight? Put your hands down. How many of y'all believe tonight that Jesus is the only way to heaven? No other way, just Jesus. He's the only way to heaven. Very good. Very good. That is the greatest miracle of all. Jesus came and He took all the bad that you've ever done or ever will do on Himself and He died for you. Shed His blood so that you can have forgiveness of your sins. He was buried, but He rose again and He lives forevermore so that you too can live forever and ever and ever in heaven with Him. Amen? That is the greatest miracle of all. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Nobody looking around here tonight. Now, you've heard all the miracles this week. And you've heard the greatest miracle of all tonight. You've heard a lot of wonderful things. God is so good to us and blesses us in so many ways. But the greatest gift that He can ever give us is for us to be saved and be able to live forever. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Nobody looking around here tonight. I want to ask you a question. And I want you to be honest with the Lord and honest with yourself. Nobody looking around. Nobody's looking except for me and the Lord. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Is there anybody here tonight, if you were to die today and you're not sure, you're not 100% sure that you'd go to heaven, and you want to know how to go to heaven, why don't you slip up your hand so I can pray for you? Is there anybody like here tonight that said, Preacher, that's me? I see some hands. I see some hands. Very good. I see some hands. All right, here's what I want you to do. 
Every head bowed, every eye closed. Those that raised their hands and said that they're not sure, but they want to know how to go to heaven. I want you to step, stand up and come up here to where I'm at right now. And somebody will take a Bible and show you how you can know for sure. I need some male workers and lady workers. Boys, you come up and sing. And Super Seven is coming up here. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Now let me ask y'all this question. Every head bowed, every eye closed. If you were to die today, if today was your last day on this earth, and you are, without a doubt, sure that you're on your way to heaven, won't you raise your hand and be proud of it? Hands all around. All right? Put your hands down. Let me ask the, the first question again. Okay? Is there anybody still that if today was your last day, if you were to die today and you're not sure that you'd go to heaven, is there anybody else like can raise your hand? Nobody's looking except for me and the Lord. Is there anybody else like it? I see that hand. I see that hand. The one that raised that, won't you come on up here and somebody can show you in the Bible how you can know for sure. Yes, sir. every eye closed. Now I've been asking y'all some this week about wanting your moms and dads to come to church. How many of y'all come to church and your moms and dads don't go to church? Why don't you raise your hand? Alright, several hands. You know what I want to encourage you to do? How many of y'all want your moms and dads to come to church with you? I would love for them to come to church with you. You know what? I believe in prayer and I believe prayer works. So those that are saying that come to church and they want their moms and dads to come to church, I want to encourage you, won't you come to the altar tonight and pray for your mom and dad or your family or friends that you want to see come to church. Won't you come up here and pray for them? Jesus hears our prayers. Jesus hears our prayers.
Let me say something very proud of y'all. Stay quiet, respecting me. I want everybody to turn to look and see who we've got here with us here tonight. Let's give them a big hand. And I'm gonna have all the girls, if y'all will line up behind Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. These guys will be ready to start taking them out. Hi, Jonathan. You'll walk them out. Guys, remain seated. Y'all realize y'all are going to jail, right? Sam, you come on, you gotta go to jail. Man, you gotta go to jail. Come on, kid. Come on, come on. 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 At least I do know how to get out of the bathroom. Ha, I know, right? You gotta teach CJ. Yeah, teach her. Every time she goes in this bathroom, I'm gonna do it. Push the door down. Come on. This door knobs. I'll be here, honey. Honey. Honey, I'm gonna be here. I actually think he's got a little bit of a virus because he's usually not this kind of sleepy cemetery. The way he's been today, he's just very sluggish. I think he's very He's just been so just You get ready to make slime, Lisa? Yeah. All right. Don't be slime. Don't be slime now. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you must get slime? Jenny will. Sit down, DJ, sit down. He's just been so chill. He's just tired. No, he's usually kind of squirmy though. No, I think that with all the kids and the noises, Jenny too, she's just, they're not used to all the other kids in here. I think she's like overwhelmed. DJ too. I'm just in the leg. Come on. Come on. No kid in the back. Slime emergency. Oh, okay. Oh, John to the rescue. Yeah. John to the rescue. See, <laughs> in there. See, you can go so high if you want to. Oh, you before. She's like, what's going on? What's going on? Boo! Y'all are done looking at the cars. Y'all can go ahead and 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 go